اللهم يا من جعلت السحر ابتلاء فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا وأنت جل جلالك الذي خلقت له الحمد لله الولي المتقين حق من عبد وأكرم من سئل والسلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء سراجا منيرا أما بعد I'm going to bring for you a very horrible story a story where whoever listens to it it brings shivers it's a story of magic it's a story of obsession it's a story of possession it's a story of possessing when you think you can possess someone and want to control him sometimes you lose control because you have not been given any right for you to possess anybody in this world a brother narrates he says i was heading to my father's in law house when we reached there we had a scream in the neighbors are screaming me and my brother in law came out run to the house and we saw somebody smashing the glasses smashing everything screaming and crying and we thought hang on a minute what's going on so we hold that individual tight we put that individual down but what our eyes caught it that the reflection the complex complex the future of the face what caught our eyes the brother says is that the look of that individual it was so terrifying this person is a light skin color but her face is absolutely dark very very dark and i thought to myself hang on a minute <coughs> something is not right here and we put that sister down we hold her tight <coughs> she sat down and we start asking the other sister was screaming what's going on she says my sister lost her mind she's not well anymore she's regret always regretting her mind is stable but the regret and whatever she has done is haunting her back she begins by saying it was my sister was very obsessed and possessive woman and then she had a husband and she was very obedient has uh, wife but her obsession and possessiveness overtook her obedience and she loved her husband so much that she didn't want anyone else to share the husband with her so what she did is that she used to speak to her friend but the friend was an evil friend and the friend said i can resolve this problem for you and she took her to some sorcerer and the sorcerer she done whatever she done and they've made a deal there and the sorcerer told her that i will solve your problem but i need to give you this and place this inside a dead body a fresh dead body while at the same time her mother was on the brink on her demise she was going to die so her mother passed away the night she passed away she ran to the sorcerer and she got the magic and she went inside the washroom and placed the magic in her mom's body and story ended up there and the mother was buried but as times pass pass by the other sister keeps on dreaming on her mother her mother crying every night more than 10 times and she thought maybe i need to go and do hajj for my mom my mom is ill my mom has been tortured in the grave she always dream of her mother crying so she goes to hajj with her sister that is where the ordeal starts they go to hajj together but when they reach 
in Hajj, when they reach Makkah, the, her, the other sister and her husband, they see the Kaaba. But this one, she say, where is the Kaaba? I can't see the Kaaba. The, th the other sister thinking is a joke. She start laughing and everything. And, they th and then the matter becomes serious. The other sister saying, I can't see the Kaaba. And they took her at home or hospital. They're not to a hospital. They took her to the hotel and left her in the hotel. And then they call the doctor. The doctor come and examine and everything. And the doctor says, maybe it's because of traveling. Maybe it's because of uh, this. Maybe it's because of that. You know the doctors, they, they don't miss anything to say. They may be, maybe, maybe for them. So they put so many maybes, rest in peace. So they left there and they went to Medina. Visiting Medina, they visited the mosque and they went to visit the grave of Nabi Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The other two couples have seen the grave. But her, she cannot see the grave. Same scenario that I could not be able to see the Kaaba. Now I cannot be able to see what? The the grave of Nabi Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Her sister got worried and she started crying and the other sister crying and started regretting these, so many things she uttered. And they went back home. When they went back home, the younger sister could not hold herself back. She decided to go to a sheikh to narrate what has happened. The sheikh was in shivers and tears. And she, he asked, has your sister done a very very bad thing in her life you need to go and ask you need to find out what she has done she goes back home she's holding tight she doesn't know how to approach her sister and the days goes by and the dreams comes back of her mother she keeps on dreaming of her mother she keeps on dreaming of her mother she doesn't know what to do and then she told the sister these dreams of my mom i don't know what to do with it i keep on dreaming of my mom and I don't know what to do. And you are in trouble. I'm the only one standing here in the family. No one else is here to help apart from the relatives. What is going on, sister? I'm bringing one of mom, my mom. At the same time, you are not settled in your mind. Your mind is not settled. You are in regret and everything. What have you done? And the sister narrates. And she says, I have I've been very obsessed with my husband and I didn't want my husband to marry any another wife and I was very possessive I loved him so much but I didn't know what to do the, the blindness of possessiveness and obsession took over and I had a wicked friend and the wicked friend took me to somebody who says he's gonna solve this problem and then that person we went and she gave me something to bury it alongside a dead person. And mom was dying, so I took the opportunity to place it inside mom. And the other sister's tears keeps on dropping slowly, slowly while she's explaining. And she doesn't know how to hold herself. What an horrible action she has done. While she narrated that and she finished that's what she did. And from then, from there on, her situation changed. So the sister straight away ran back to the sheikh and narrated to the sheikh. And the sheikh took people and a lot of people from the village went to the grave. And they dug the grave and a woman went in the grave. He says, Wallahi thumma wallahi, what I saw, I will never forget in my life. The deen of Islam is absolutely true. In the grave, you will be punished if you go there with the evil deeds. I saw half of my body of my mom eaten and totally destroyed. But half of her body from the stomach all the way down, it is fresh at ease as it is just been buried. The woman goes in there and remove the black magic. Now imagine where did the daughter of hers placed the magic. She placed it in the private part of her mom. This is how evil is when you are not holding tight to the deen of Allah. When you don't have no knowledge over the Islam. You go and do some crazy stuff to your own parents. Even though the mother was, uh, even if the mother is evil or not evil, you don't do any evil stuff to your mom. 
Now, the black magic has been removed from the private parts of the dead mom. The upper side of the body rotten, eaten by wombs, but the lower side not fresh because of that magic. It's been removed. Everybody in the graveyard was crying and screaming what they saw. They could not believe. And the sister who done it, until today she's not well. Regret. The sheikh turned to her and told her, listen woman, what you have done, you have done a great, great mistake in your life. But in Allah, Allah forgives everything. So seek forgiveness from Allah, Rabbul Izzah. Because she has done magic, not for nothing, not for envy, no for nothing, just for fear of losing husband, which is the husband Allah gave her. Now, instead of us saying, oh Allah, praise Allah, Rabbul Izzah, to keep hold tight to your husband, that he's with you until dead. No, you go and seek help from devil. devil. They removed the magic, they buried, they put back the sand, and from there, the whole community decided to go and kill each, each and every magician in the town. They've killed all of them, the one they are known. And the town was a very peaceful town. This story happens in Bilad Sham. And the town was a very peaceful town. It's a small village. And the sister remained in the same state. I ask Allah to forgive the believing men and believing women. This is the state of the Ummah today. Seeking help from the wrong people and taking advice from the wrong people, it is very very bad even if is your sister if she doesn't have knowledge of islam you should not take advice from her even if you see somebody with a beard and think and saying that oh i've got knowledge of islam you need to go and check it again whatever information is passing by to you this is the state of that mother and the state of her daughter she suffered in the dunya and she made her mama suffer in the grave this is not a joke it's a very serious story it's a story where it had an effect on daughter and a mother it's a story when you look there was no reason to do this we ask Allah to protect our sons and our daughters our brothers, our sisters, and our moms from any evil, and our wives, we ask Allah to give them hikmah, that they, to, give me, to give them a reasoning that they should not go to the wrong path. Abu Yahya, from the Rukh talk, story of a daughter placing magic inside the private part of her mom. And the mama get tortured in the grave, get suffered in the grave. And the daughter suffered in the dunya. Wa akhiru da'wana. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ta yatabayyana lahum annahu al-haq.